Welcome back to my channel, everybody. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Shanika. Every single Sunday I come on and I give Sunday's devotional. That's our time and our presence. And that's the time that we spend in the presence of God, giving you a word from the week, sharing with you what the Holy Spirit has put on my heart and encourage you in the word of God. So if you are new to my channel and you like what you hear, you are feeling blessed, then subscribe like and share so that others can get the message and the word of God and be built up and encouraged in the Lord. And for all my subscribers, I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for tuning in week after week and leave your testimonies below. Engage with me so we know and other people know that are watching that you are being blessed and what is the word that was spoken um, that you heard from the Lord that that encouraged you and it bless you and um, change a situation or a circumstance in your life. So today I'm going to talk about where is your faith, because that's what the Holy Spirit has been talking to me about for the past few months. And I believe um, in my spirit for the past few months, I've been hearing just a mustard seed, just a mustard seed. And for the life of me, I kept trying to figure out why do I keep hearing just a mustard seed and just the word just a mustard seed in my spirit and um, I began to study the scriptures and talk to God about what does this mean and the Holy Spirit brought um, Ma Matthew's chapter 17 and verses 20 to my remembrance and he reminded me that he said to them because of your faith for truly I say to you if you have faith like a grain of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move, and nothing will be impossible for you. And that scripture reference is coming from Matthew 17 and 20. And so when the Holy Spirit reminded me of that, I went out to Walmart and I bought a container of a mustard seed, of um, a container full of mustard seeds, because I never saw what a mustard seed looked like. And I wanted to... to to have something to remind me, also the scripture which is written in my heart of every time I look at this, I'm reminded to put my that my faith is in the Lord, and to, I'm reminded to continue to have faith and to trust God. And so I want to show you what a mustard seed looks like because God doesn't require much from us. He just he wants us to put our trust in him and believe him believe in him with all of our heart and our souls and our mind and when i saw the size of a mustard seed which you can barely see within the the um within between my fingertips i was like god this is all you required you're telling me lord that just this little grain this little seed if i have if i plant this little seed of faith just this little amount of faith will move the mountains that I'm facing in my lives and be able to um, help me get through the challenges that I'm facing in life, the Holy Spirit said yes, because my word is true and that whatever I have spoken will never come back to me void. It sets out to do what I've spoken it to do. And as long as you put your faith in me, best believe that whatever you ask me, for it's according to my will, it will move mountains when you tell that mountain to move. So I want to encourage you today to just have just a little bit of faith. Put your trust in God and watch the mountains in your life move. Watch challenges in your life become challenges no more to you. And so as I continue to meditate on the word of God, I started to ask God, what are some ways that I can encourage your people on building their faith? And he reminds me that our faith is to our faith is our trust our belief and our full confidence and god wants all three of those things trust belief and our full confidence to be all centered in the gospel of jesus christ he wants all of that to be he wants all of that our every being everything concerning us everything about us to be our trust to be centered in our lord and savior jesus christ in his son and so I said, Lord, okay, so talk, give me some points that I can say to, to your people, how, and to myself, how can we become to be, how can we continue to build faith? And I believe Holy Spirit wanted to encourage me 
in the word in faith and remind me of that because he knew that there's a lot of things that I'm not only going to be facing, but there's a lot of things people are facing, a lot of changes that are going to be happening in our finances, the economical systems, with our belief system, our confidence. And he wants us to be grounded. He said the, the word of the Lord tells us that the just should live by faith. We cannot put our faith in government systems. We cannot put our faith in man. We cannot even put our faith in ourselves. Our faith has to be 100% centered in God, his gospel, and on his word. And so every time I look at this container, these little grains, these little seeds, it reminds me again to have faith in the Lord. So some ways, how do we get faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And God tells us that in Romans chapter 12, verses 17. So you want to make sure that, you know, when you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed at night, that you're listening to the word of God. Be intentional about hearing the word of God, going to church on Sunday, listening. If you can't make it to church, listening to your favorite pastor or sermon, uh, being preached to you about the of the word of God um, on YouTube. You have a lot of platforms that you can go on that you'll be able to hear the word of God constantly. When you're working out, when you're walking, when you're taking your break from works, you can listen to your Bible app, an app on your phone. That's another way you can hear the word of God to be built up in your, to have your faith built up. Um, some other ways is surround yourself with like-minded people, people who share the same faith in you. So when you're having conversations with those people, they will be able to encourage you in the word of God. They will be able to point you to the word of God. They will be able to speak the word of God over you. You watching this video right now, this is building your faith. You are hearing the word of God that I'm speaking to you and the scriptures that I'm giving you reference to that you should meditate on to help build your faith. Some other ways that the Holy Spirit um, put in my spirit to build, um, to help us to build our faith. Actually, when I went to the Bible app, God is so good. The scripture of the day is from Hebrews 12, verses 2, and it says, We do this by keeping, we do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endures, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor besides God's throne. And we children, sons and daughters of God, we are also seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So he's saying here, another way to build your faith is if we keep our eyes on the Lord, our faith is going to be built. Our trust and our confidence stays in him. And something else the Holy Spirit pointed out to me was one of the gifts from the Holy Spirit that Holy Spirit and minister gifts on to us is the gift of faith. Because he knew that a lot of us would fall from faith or that we would lack in faith, that we would at some point be a doubting Thomas. And so he reminded me that faith is a gift from God. And God, anything that we ask our Father, God wants to give us good gifts. So if you're lacking in faith, say, Father, I would like the gift of faith. And God will freely give the gift of faith onto you. But you have to walk in that faith and you have to believe and trust that God has given it to you. Because faith without works is dead. So you want to walk that thing out. You want to trust him and you want to not doubt. And every time the enemy puts intrusive thoughts in your mind, any thoughts of doubt, you cast every imagination, every fantasy down and bring it into subjection into our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So keeping our eyes on the Lord is another way that we can build our faith. And so one of the... Uh, Men in the Bible that Holy Spirit um, had me uh, go ahead and, and read their story and reminded me of was Noah. Noah was a great example for us. Um, he was living in a time when the world where where it was his generation was so corrupt and people were so even evil and and it was just full of violence. And God only found Noah found favor in God's eye and he was the only righteous human being. So. God spoke to Noah and told him what he needed to do to, you know, that he was going to bring him life to escape death. And he told him to build the ark and to carry his sons and daughters, his sons, his wife and his son's wives as well. And so Noah went into the, built the ark and he did all of this by faith, by putting his trust, his belief and his confidence in the Lord. And when Noah did that, he did not perish like everything else, like every living thing that had breath. Um, during his generation, him and his family lived. 
And that was all through faith. And the Holy Spirit reminded me that when you have faith and you put your trust in God, faith leads to obedience. So faith is going to lead you to be obedient to God. And obedience is better than sacrifice. So remember that too. God always speaks to us. And when you have faith in God, you are being obedient to God. When you have faith in God, it pleases God. And how do we know that having faith in God pleases God? Because in Hebrews chapter 11 and 6, it tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God, you must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who diligently seek him. So in order to please God, if you have faith in God, your faith is in nowhere else but in the gospel of Jesus Christ, the son, God's son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, know that that alone, you are pleasing God. So I want to encourage you today to stand firm in your faith. If you lack, if you have any type of unbelief, center your get in a place where you're hearing and you're hearing the word of God so that your faith can be built up and that you can go further in your walk with God hallelujah because God also tells us that in all things in all circumstance in all things that we do we are to put we are to armor ourselves we are to when you're facing challenges the mountains when you're going through spiritual warfare he tells us to put on the shield of faith what happens when you put on the shield of faith? You are going, the shield of faith is your protector from God. The shield of faith is your protection. The shield of faith is your defense from any tax, any fiery darts that the enemy tries to throw at you. And when you put on that shield of faith, you put a barrier there that the enemy cannot penetrate. And anything that comes against you, you will, it will be extinguished by that shield of faith, that armor that God equips you in. So guys, walk this thing out. How are you going to walk this walk out? You got to have faith, trust. Your utmost confidence must be in the Lord and in his word. So God, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your word. And then also in the book of Jude, um, another way that he talks to us about building up our faith, building up our most holy faith is our building up our most holy faith is praying in the Holy Spirit. So if you have the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gift of speaking in tongue, you want to make sure that you're praying in the Holy Spirit as much as possible. It says pay much in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Spirit. And you pray much in the spirit because it's building up your faith. It's edifying you in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Your God is speaking mysteries to you. You building yourself up in the Lord. Holy Spirit is building you up and that is a gift from him. So if you have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you will be filled with the power of God, uh, with the evidence of speaking in tongue, and may the Holy Spirit, his every being, permeate your whole entire being and fill you up uh, with, with, with the gifts of speaking in tongue. God bless you. And if you received it, leave that testimony below because that's also going to have somebody cause others to have faith and be encouraged as well. And then um, some things, if you don't have faith, uh, the Holy Spirit wanted to remind you, lack of faith will lead to helpless hopelessness. It will cause you to be distraught, dis dis um, discouraged, and it will lead to confusion. And we know that God is not a God of confusion, and he doesn't want you to feel any of these things because God wants you to walk in boldness, and he wants you to have confidence and your full confidence and your trust and your faith to be in um, Jesus and him alone. So I hope you guys were encouraged today. Um, I was truly blessed by this word and uh, let's pray this thing out. So Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for the gift of faith for those who lack faith that you are imparting that into their lives today, God. We thank you, oh God, for your Holy Spirit, hallelujah, who leads and guides us. And um, we thank you, God, for big faith. We thank you for taking our faith further. We thank you for your word, God, that helps to build our faith, God. Father, we thank you for your presence and being in the midst of us during this time of devotion. We thank you, Father, for your love. We thank you for forgiving us for all of our sins, Lord God. We thank you, God, and ask that you will wash, that you will cleanse, and that you will purify our hearts, God. Oh, Lord, any unforgiveness within us, we forgive, we release, and we let go. Father, your love is great. Your word is great. Your love, your mercy, and your 
ever and your kindness endures forever lord so father i bless every person that's going to watch this video i bless their situations lord i thank you for just by faith alone that these mountains that we're facing will come tumbling down oh god with just the as we plant our seeds of mustard faith, God, and we thank you, God, for what is about to sprout, what is about to bloom in our lives, God, and what is going to take place, God, as we continue to put our faith and our ultimate trust in you. So, Father, we ask that your perfect will would be done. Father, we ask that you would have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I pray that you would bless, you would encourage and that your spirit, you are refreshed in your spirit. Share, like this video so that others can be encouraged in the Lord. I love you with the love of Christ, and I thank you for all of your support.